Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the perfumes in my collection that have a salt or salty note in it. The first one I have, and this is just a little mini, is the uh, Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush 62. So this one is very well known. Um, the first time I smelled this particular scent profile was with their Boom Boom Cream, which I really enjoy. The only thing I don't like about that is the gold sparkles in it. But this has a very tropical, sweet, beachy scent to it. Um, it's very gourmand, but it's a gourmand that I think works really well in the summertime, despite the, the sweetness and the heaviness of some of the notes in there. Um, I think it's, yeah, just really edible, really yummy, and it layers really well with a lot of different types of fragrances, but especially with the Boom Boom Cream. The next one I have is Edol's Nectar, so Lancome Edol Nectar. Uh, this one doesn't have a specific salt note per se, but it does have a note of popcorn in it, and that popcorn is very salty to my nose. Um, so smelling it from the bottle, all I really get is rose. There's three types of rose in the top and I really pick that up when I just sniff it for spray. But once it's on my skin, what I get a lot of is the caramel and the popcorn from the mid notes. And then once it dries down, the vanilla starts to come through. So this is a, a rosy floral scent, but there's also a really strong salty, sweet note that I get when I wear it. I really like it. I actually have the travel spray version of this on my tray for this month. Um, and that's actually like, I wanna say more than half gone. And I bought these two um, together and then used the travel one first to make sure I liked it before I opened this one up. But this smells really great. I really enjoy it. Um, and I've been enjoying wearing it this month. Um, and I'll probably be cracking into this bottle um, once I'm done with that travel spray. But this is another good, salty type fragrance, even though there's not specifically salt listed in the notes. The next one I have is Paco Rabanne um, Olympia. This one is also, it's older and very popular fragrance. Um, and I actually didn't try this for a really long time because there was a, a ginger note in it. And I didn't think I would like that because I really do not like ginger in general. I don't like the way it smells. It's really pungent. Um, it's in other fragrances I have, but it's usually so well blended that I don't spell it specifically. But it made me not want to try this. And then also I wasn't really into salty fragrances and I thought ginger and salt, no thank you. But um, I actually tried the intense version and loved it. So I thought I would pick up this one. And this is a really beautiful, yeah, it's, it's floral. There's jasmine and... Um, ginger flower so I'm wondering if that's why it doesn't smell gingery to my nose because it's not the actual ginger root um, so it's sweet I don't find it to be very heavy or cloying I have heard people say that before but it is this really nice salty sweet very sexy easy to wear fragrance in my opinion um, I, I think it's perfect for year round, I guess, depending on where you live, but I really do enjoy wearing this when it's warm outside. It just really makes me think of summer. And I like the bottle too. I think it's, it's really cute. So there's a uh, Paco Rabanne Olympia. And I also have a little mini one ounce bottle of the intense version. Um, so these smell very similar, except for the intense really is an intense version. There's notes that were taken out, um, a couple notes that were added, but what this is, when I smell it, is vanilla, amber, and salt, um, which sounds like such a weird combination of notes to wear, but it is, it's very warm, it's very sweet, it's very thick, but it's also very sexy, and then because of that salt note, it, it's like, it doesn't smell like skin because it definitely smells like you're wearing a fragrance, but it's like your skin, but a sexy version of your skin, I guess. I don't know how else to really explain that, but I don't know that you need both in your collection. Um, I ha had this one first and really like it, 
and then decided to try the original. And I think I actually enjoy the original one better because it is lighter and it is easier to wear. But when I want something like heavy and salty and sexy and gourmand, this is a good reach for that. The next one I have is Clean Reserve Skin. This is their limited edition bottle with the cute little purple dragonfly on it. Um, I really love this fragrance. I do like skin scents, um, but this one is, yeah, like your skin, but better. It smells very natural. It doesn't have a huge projection or even huge, like a really great longevity. Um, but I love this to spray on when I want to smell really good, but I don't particularly want to smell heavy overdone or like I have a lot of perfume on so this is great for any day really this is this is a perfectly great signature scent I tend to wear this again when I want to smell good but not like I'm wearing a ton of perfume if I'm just going to be doing like a Netflix and chill type situation I like to throw this on um, it has praline in it so you do get a little bit of sweetness there's some leather in there which I kind of pick up because it kind of brings it, like it brings I think that's what's bringing like the sexiness to this scent because for something that's a skin scent and that's light and doesn't perform like a beast um, this is I find this to be a very very sexy fragrance um, it's categorized as a floral musk I don't know what floral notes are in here I don't particularly smell something floral I smell someone that usually smells really good and it's just on their skin naturally but I love this one this is a really great easy reach perfume but not a safe blind buy but if you can get to like a Sephora um, and give it a sniff this is a really great beautiful salty fragrance the next one I have is uh, Armani's Privé blue turquoise which I've talked about a lot on my channel um, I just bought this the beginning of the year um, I had a little sample fell in love even though I was hoping not to because it, it was expensive. Um, but this fragrance, you know, is described as smelling like a mineral spa and it really does. You do smell like sweet, vanilla, salty, ocean air, luxurious skin products. It's just a really beautiful, I, I find it to be an easy wear perfume. Um, despite the notes that are in there that sound like they might be challenging, I actually find this to be a fragrance that I can throw it on easy, I can wear it to any occasion, I can wear it year round. I've worn it in cold weather and it still smells beautiful. Um, and it just, it, does, it just smells like, not like I'm wearing a perfume, but that I've just put on the most luxurious, most expensive spa products on my skin and this is just the smell rating off of me after I walk along the beach. I really love this one and am really excited to start wearing it next month. And the last one I have is Vanilla Vibes from Juliet Has a Gun. So the first thing I'm gonna say is this does remind me of the Blue Turquoise. They do not smell the same. They have different notes. Um, and they do have a different scent profile, but they do have a very, very similar vibe. I get that same light, airy, slightly sweet, salty sea air quality from Vanilla Vibes. Now, the big difference that I notice is the blue turquoise has the black pepper um, and the ylang ylang and the moss in there, so it gives it kind of a maybe an earthier touch. Maybe that's the right way to say it. Whereas Vanilla Vibes is a little bit uh, lighter. It's, it's less complex. So, and then there's a note in there that if you've ever had or smelled, um, it's like a, I wanna say it's like a coconut macaroon. It smells like, it has that smell in there, which I actually thought I wouldn't like it once I got the sample because in coconut's not really my my vibe too much. But um, it doesn't smell like straight up coconut, it smells like this cookie a little bit. So I get the saltiness, I get the airiness, it does make me think of being on the beach, but it makes me feel, it's like a gourmand light beachy scent. So if you are interested in blue turquoise or you like blue turquoise, Juliet has a gun, 
vanilla vibes might be a fragrance you also enjoy because while they don't smell the same they do have a they're in the same type of category with how they wear and a little bit with how they with how they smell um, but this is one that I got last year and I'm excited to get some wear out of it um, this year once it starts warming up it is actually pretty gray and overcast over here today um, which is not what I want but I don't always get what I want so here are the perfumes in my collection that have a salt note or a salty type smell to them. If you have any recommendations, please list them down below. I have tried the Ellis Brooklyn Salt, and I can't remember which fragrance it reminded me of in my collection, but I felt like I already had it, so I didn't pick it up. Um, but it was a nice, it was a nice fragrance. Maybe once I've gone through a couple of these, I'll revisit it. Um, but that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.